So obviously some of you guys are upset that I didn't finish Five Nights at Freddy's 4 and I do have my reasons for it so I'm going to use this video to explain them to you. Now first off when playing the game I want you all to understand that I actually am in love with this franchise. I like the lore behind it the most. The gameplay has always been a little bit meh for me. The one that I enjoyed the most though is Five Nights at Freddy's 3 just so you guys know and of course the classic Five Nights at Freddy's 1 is a great game as well but 4 I had a lot of issues with. Now the thing that's key in all Five Nights at Freddy's games is the audio cues. We all know this. The audio really makes up when things happen and you can use it as an indication to prepare for certain events. This has always been the case around all all these games but Five Nights at Freddy's 4 takes the reliance on audio to a point where you have to turn the volume extremely high. Now as I said audio cues have existed in Five Nights at Freddy's since the dawn of the game but in 4 the breathing apparently which sounds like radio static is so low volume that you have to crank the audio to obscene levels in order to hear anything going on in the moment which usually means life or death when it comes to Five Nights. This is what I had the main issue with because you have to crank your volume up to super high levels in order to make out the audio cues in 4, which was not the case in Five Nights 1, 2, and 3, where the audio cues were a lot more audible. You can hear everything that was going on. Now, in 4, I'm guessing the reason why they had the audio cues so low volume is to be able to make it seem more creepy and to kind of give you some deeper ambience. But the thing that makes it a problem for me is the fact that since you have to turn the volume so high to hear so low audio cues when you actually do get jump scared the volume is so fucking cranked up to the ceiling that it blows your eardrums into goddamn next week that's where my issue is with this game and like I said I love the franchise but I just don't like that kind of an execution on how to make the game scarier sure you can hear the audio cues when you turn it up but some of you are saying, well, Etika, you're acting like a bitch, obviously. You don't want to get scared, and it's not necessarily about getting scared. In fact, when I was playing through the game on well, the first time with my live stream, I didn't get scared once after the first jump scare, and I can prove this for you guys myself right now. I'm going to actually pull up some game footage of when I played Five Nights at Freddy's 4 for the first time so you can see for yourselves exactly how scared I got. And it, it was non-existent, man. It was non-existent. Let me see. Let me, let me, let me pull this up for you guys. So... Here's the thing, what right? Going the audio on cues. Here? Audio cues. We're gonna turn this down a little bit. What is going on? I, I hear. Stay here with me. Um, the anim I don't know how to do this. This <laughs> is. So here we go. It's over, nigga. But at, all right. So the volume is going to be low for you guys to hear the jump scare, but it was really loud for me. I cranked my shit up to maximum at this point. I don't and look how scared I got. I mean, I got scared, but it was kind of like, okay. Like, the main thing that I have as an issue with the high volume, necessarily, is because the loud audio pops my eardrums, and it hurts a lot. Now, these headphones are actually really good, even though a lot of you guys cut ass on them. They're really efficient, so when I turn the, uh, the volume super high, every time that jump scare happened, at that point, it was just hurting. Like, I wasn't, it wasn't even a matter of fear. I just didn't like the fact that I had to push the audio so far. So that was my main thing that made me say, you know what, I'm not going to play the game. And I'm not saying that the gameplay in 4 is bad, but I'm saying I had an issue with the audio. And that's, that's where it's going to be left at. So I wanted to take some time to answer some of you guys' inquiries as to why I'm not playing this. Because, of course, I want to keep you informed. Because I know a lot of people were expecting me to play this game on my channel, and I, I'm, I decided not to. So let's see what some of you guys are saying. So, Etika, you barely gave it a chance. Not even 30 minutes. More like 20-something minutes. And yeah, I only gave it 20 minutes because I just figured I, I, did, I didn't have the resiliency to be able to have my volume cranked up to that level. It was hurting, man. Like, like every time I turn that shit up to hear the audio cues. And here's another thing as well, too. You guys may not know this, but I have this big-ass fucking air conditioner that's right behind me as you can see right there this thing you probably can't hear how loud it is now because i have the gain on my mic really low but if i turn the game up actually you can hear how loud that goddamn air conditioner is and maybe that hindered my ability to hear out some of those really low tone audio cues i probably did because i played the other five nights games in this very room and i didn't have the same issues with hearing out the cues as i did in four like, I, I don't know how else to explain it to you guys, but it's a game that relies too heavily on the audio at this point, and I, I just can't keep up with it. It, it. It'll be totally impossible for me to do so without 
you know, hurting myself in the process. It's just not going to be able to be done, man. I mean, it's not an issue of me being scared. It's an issue of my physical well-being and using my ears. Man. <laughs> like, 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 God damn, man. Have you ever turned your volume up to 100% on your computer and then hear, heard of Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare? This shit is unbearable, dog. It has nothing to do with fear. Anyways, let's, let's keep looking up through these um, comments, man. I want to see what you guys have to say. So let's get ready for some more nigga theories. I, I love the theories, actually, which is kind of funny because every single theory basically has been disproven at some point. But I still like that whole culture around Five Nights when it comes to speculating about what the games are about, what happens in them and the lore. I love that stage of it. So, of course, I'm going to be with this game for that, but I'm not going to be playing it on my channel. Um, it doesn't need to be that loud. No one else has had the problem that Etika did for a reason. Now, as I said, there are probably some factors that are inhibiting me hearing the game's audio. But if I turn that AC off, I'm going to melt in this bitch. It's 90 degrees in New York City right now, and there's no way in hell that I'm playing a game in front of studio lights. One, two, three, four, six. Six of them shits at one time. There's no way in hell. So, I mean, I understand that some of you guys thought that maybe I had the bright lights on in order to be able to um, lessen the amount of scaredness that I have in my videos, but that's not necessarily it. I have the lights on so you can see my black ass, because if I turn them off, you ain't seeing shit. But I, I guess you don't care at that point. Either way, the lights wouldn't have made a difference. The, the, the game wasn't scary in my opinion. Um, and he said no one else needed to have it that loud. Well, I just explained that maybe my conditions are a little bit different. And I don't know about you guys, but I couldn't hear a single goddamn audio cue, no matter how loud I turned up that shit. Even Mark Plyer himself said that he couldn't hear them in his first video. He, I don't even know how he got past night one, but I guess, you know, he got a little bit lucky. He was able to keep up with the signs and whatnot. And maybe after turning his volume up, he was able to. But... I, I don't feel the need to do that. I'm, I'm, a very, I'm a very picky person when it comes to my horror, and just trying to fish out jump scares by forcing people to turn their volume up to max is not my way of doing it. I really find that distasteful, to be honest. Um, let's see. Oh, congrats on 200k. Thanks. I like the throwbacks to Five Nights at Freddy's 1. The jump scares in 3 were too weak. Also, I think the use of darkness is sick. Um, the throwback to 1... I don't know, how would it really be a throwback to one when you like have the door system and you can see them there and close it before they come and get you? Um, the jump scares in three were too weak. I don't know, I feel like three had some good jump scares, but I think it's all dependent on the, on the person playing it. Three, I enjoyed a lot, and it didn't rely on jump scares as heavily. I mean, excuse me, it didn't rely on audio cues as heavily, or at least maybe it did rely on horror, um, audio cues, but they weren't as low volume as they are in four. In three, the audio cues were a lot more present. And therefore, like, if you heard somebody going into the vents, you heard the boop, boop, boop. Like, it was clear. It was just as loud as the game's music and ambient noises. So I feel like that's where 4 kind of threw me off. I think the mechanics are pretty interesting. They make it feel spooky, and that they do. But the low-sounding audio cues are, are a killer for me. Um, holy, let, me let me see, let me see. Um, holy shit, you noticed. Um, so you were saying the last games didn't require any skill. This game actually makes you pay attention. Just don't die. And I, I never said that once. I feel like the last games actually do require skill. Uh, I feel like three required a lot of skill as well because there were so many things to keep maintenance over. Um, two actually required a ton of skill as well because you had to keep the marionette satisfied with the music box while at the same time managing the hallway and making sure that nobody was coming into the vents. The, the other games required a ton of skill. I never said that they didn't. What was he replying to? Um, being good at Five Nights at Freddy's 4 means paying full attention to the sound cues, which it does, in comparison to the last ones where the sound wasn't as important. And the sound wasn't as important. Because sure, you would hear Balloon Boy say hi, but it would be super loud. So you knew when Balloon Boy was in the vent. You didn't have to turn the volume up to hear for the shit. You, you knew when Balloon Boy was there. And uh, I feel like that's the main difference as to why I can't really enjoy 4. Um, someone said good point. Um, oh yeah, okay. Alright, still really salty that you ended so quickly. I know, I didn't give the game too much of a chance. And I, I know some of you guys are upset. I, I feel like that too. Maybe I wussed out of the game too early or I bitched out too early. I guess some of you may have that consensus about me and I apologize if that is the way that you perceived it. But if I had continued playing that game, I would have had sore ears, man. My, my shit would have been fucked up, dude. And it would have just been an unpleasant experience because it wouldn't even be me being scared, but just me constantly getting pissed off at these jump scares screaming in my ear at unbearable amounts of volume. It, it, it's, it's so stupid that that has to come to that point to be able to scare people. Like, no, no, 
No, I don't, I don't. I'm just gonna wait until someone's playthrough is done, and then I'll watch through the game that way, so I don't have to bust my eardrums listening for fucking audio cues. Um, maybe he needs better headphones or something. I, I, I said these headphones are great, so I mean, I don't like jump scares. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty indifferent to jump scares as long as the volume is manageable. But this game requires your volume to be higher than ever before. That's what my issue is. I can't believe this, man. This nigga better do some DLC. Another game is going to be really annoying. I'm guessing that's a spoiler. If you're not going to play the game, then give it to me, nigga. I'm over here at my poor ass waiting for a demo or something. If I could send that shit to you, I would, bro. Or if you just want the lore, you can go to the plush Freddy's nose and press CW and skip the night. Really now? Okay. On a Tuesday. <laughs> um, that's scaring strategy. What are you saying? Um... I said I couldn't hear the audio cues no matter how loud I put it. Maybe because there's an air conditioner, I wasn't enjoying myself. That's scaring strategy. The game makes you crank up the volume so you can hear breathing and jump scare you. But it's not scaring when it's fucking hurting my ears, dude. Uh, let's see, let's see. As long as you don't suck as much as Etika did, you won't get many jump scares. And this is somebody that's extremely salty because if you got to take pot shots at somebody like that, then um, obviously you're not speaking from a level of logic and you're, you're just speaking from a level of saltiness. That's pretty damn obvious. Um, let me see. More tweets. Let's see here. From what I'm hearing, this game is harder than the other. Mark Plyer died like three times too. I just watched his first video and yes, he did. Um, so you bought a horror game, but didn't care about being scared. If you wanted a story, wait for other LPs, and that's definitely what I'm going to do. Thank you for the advice. I know to do that now. Um, I was trying to give this one a chance. I really enjoy playing 3. I just never finished the last night because it's, it, it was so difficult and required you to keep track of so many things. I planned on doing it for a while, but you know me, I juggle a million things at once, so 3's completion hasn't happened yet, but I'm going to complete that game eventually because I had a great time playing it. Um... Let me see, let me see. The gameplay seems really bad. It's not necessarily about the gameplay being bad. I feel like if you didn't mind your ears being blown the fuck out every second, then you could play through Five Nights 4 and deal with it. But in order just to get some views, I'm not going to put myself through that physical agony of having my ears eviscerated every single second because of turning up the volume to hear audio. Like, no, no way. Um, no, it's not a lie. It's the game. Read what I said before. I don't know what he's saying. You must, your hearing must be fairly poor then. No one else has had this problem. Well, how many other people's Let's Plays have been up right now? I'm not saying that other people need to have this problem um, or that other people having this problem is an indication of the game being bad in the first place. I'm just saying, for me, or my personal preference, I'm not going to play the game because I have an issue with it and how it fishes for the scare by making you turn your volume up. I don't find that cool. And, I, you know, a lot of people didn't like the Five Nights series because it relied on jump scares so much. But I feel like 4 is kind of a slap in the face when it comes to the horror genre because it basically facilitates the idea of jump scares being the main way to scare the shit out of people, which was always the case in Five Nights. But it's like the lore took a back seat. And they're like, ooh, this is some spooky shit. Look at their T. I mean, it's, it seems like it's so obvious that it's fishing for the horror now. In Five Nights 1, the animatronics, while they were fucking disturbing, they didn't rely on such obvious ploys of horror, like sharp teeth, fucked up looks, and all that. And they relied more on the creepy uncanny valley disturbing aspect of it but in this game it's just look at this shit it's fucking scary turn your volume up get yelled at and, and shit your pants that's basically on the on the surface that's how it looks i mean i still love the genre i still love the series but the execution in this game i feel was probably the worst out of all of them even three which a lot of people say was a little bit of a lukewarm title i feel like three was at least a little bit better because it didn't blatantly rely on you turning your volume up to get scared i don't know it, it, it's just i don't know i mean I'm, I'm talking out my ass right now let's see here you should have never bought the game in the first place. The breathing is so you don't die. You know when they are there. Um, you never should have bought the game in the first place. But I like the series. I just I didn't, I didn't think this game would have these issues, at least with me. The breathing is so you don't... Even Mark Plyer couldn't hear the breathing at one point. And this can actually be pointed out in his video as well, too. He made it perfectly clear the first at multiple night. points in the video that he didn't hear any breathing of any kind. And I feel like the breathing kind of like comes in, comes out. Maybe you hear it one time, maybe you don't the other time. But either way, in order to hear it fully, you're going to have to turn your volume all the way up. Let's see what Mark Plyer himself had to say about the first it. first game. So, I don't know what to expect from this one. But Let's look up a jump scare. Bitch. <laughs> you're um, doing good. Maybe I can. <laughs> oh, I'm a son of a bitch. 
Jesus. Okay, so the first night is never usually that bad in any of the games, so I'll play through. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh! Oh! It's always when I'm saying something. It's always when I'm. Oh, no, no, no. I, actually, uh, I think that was the second time not, you died. You got to look at the first one. As to what Scott. Remember from the. Cool. Into this total. <laughs> okay. I know. Nothing. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, of all the people that got the devil, I probably like. I probably. In my head. Five. Go down and. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. I just, you never know. Okay, so I think here he he explains that he didn't hear breathing, or maybe he did hear it, but it was really really low. No! Oh, that was the breathing! Oh, I didn't know that was it! Ah, oh, God. Okay, so it's not breathing. It's a freaking radio. God. Yeah. So you have to turn your volume up extremely high to hear that fucking radio, man. Um, it wasn't even audible at the t at the time when I was playing it. And like I said, that might 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 just be because of the air conditioner, but. For the most part, the breathing is more difficult to make out in this one. And because the fate of the game relies entirely on making out that breathing, you have to have your volume maxed out if you want to beat through this game. So it's a pretty damn easy strategy. Play attention to the audio cues, in my opinion, which, which is relatively easier. But still, it's not something I feel like putting myself through because I feel like preserving my eardrums, man. And true, I think the main point... Um, what do you say? True, I think the main point is you're supposed to feel weary on if they'll be there or not when you shine your light so yeah i mean some people i mean i know you guys gotta agree with me right just look at the proof in the pudding man i know that i didn't finish playing the goddamn game but the audio cues were significantly lower in four than they have been in any other five nights game i'm just being real i'm not even saying that as a matter of opinion but it comes down to just facts look it up yourselves guys uh, i'm not going to keep this up for too much longer um yeah something you could do in five nights one and um let me see Oh, if you want the lore, you can... Oh, yeah, so you could always skip the uh, night in um, the previous games as well, too. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Scott isn't done. Uh, let me see. What is HMK saying? Um, bro, I feel you. I said at one point, Five Nights at Freddy's 4's gameplay can eat my ass. I'm just going to wait for the lore theories. And that's why I'm saying I don't enjoy the gameplay myself. Some of you guys may enjoy it. That's why I said Five Nights at Freddy's 4 gameplay can eat my ass. Because I don't enjoy it. But some of you guys may enjoy it yourselves. Either way, I don't feel like destroying my eardrums. Um, at the end of the day, it's your channel. You can post whatever the fuck you want. You don't have to do anything for us, and that's a perfectly good point. Play it, dude. I played it, and I was confident of not being scared, and I literally shit my pants. I, I wasn't shitting anything. If you want to get straight to the lore, okay. So when are you going to play Five Nights at Etika's? I'm not 100% sure about that, man, but I feel like... I, I don't know. I have to really feel that one out. Um, any final ones? Let me see. When an animatronic gets in the room, it's in. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Um, let me see. Well, that's basically it. All right, guys. Hopefully, I explain my stance about this whole thing a little bit better. I know some of you are still going to be upset, and there's still going to be some comments that are complaining in one way or another. But those are my reasons. I'm sticking by them. And maybe if there's a way to kind of turn up the game's in-game, like, cues rather than just, like, everything. Like, because the ambient noise in the game is really loud as well so that kind of sometimes overrides the static that you would hear but um for now i'm pretty much done with it thank you for understanding i'll tell it to you guys in the next one take care of yourselves and of course as usual please have yourself a damn good one